Did I plan on going to an Ivy League university while I was in school itself? Let's talk about that. Remember those days, those nails, I could sleep right now. I get paid, paid, can stay in peace, What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty much out of ideas, so I thought I'd touch base on this topic and tell you a little bit about my personal story about, you know, school, undergrad and masters and when I actually started thinking about going into an Ivy League university and what I did as a student and myself to kind of like amp up my profile and what helped me get into it. So today it's a brand new day. I'm starting the day off, uh, you know, just getting uh, ready to head to work. But I wanted to kind of like start off by talking a little bit about, you know, where I went to school, what I studied, how I was as a kid. Now, a lot of you guys don't know this because I've never really shared it on the channel, but I did my, my schooling, like, you know, my primary schooling grades one through four in the US. I actually studied in California in Orange County, if you guys, um, you know, know of that. But my dad used to work here in California and that's where I went to school. Um, I still remember like watching all of those videotapes. My parents have like those huge cassette tapes um, that would play in and uh, we used to have all of these like annual functions and school and cultural days and I was a pretty like uh, out there kid. Like I used to participate in all of these things. I from like grade one itself. But that's essentially how like my school went. And like I, I remember bits and pieces of it. I know that I learned how to play the violin when I was here. Um, there were a ton of other activities that we did, um, but that was pretty cool and um, I had a pretty good time when I was here and after that we shortly moved back to India. Now even though I'm from Delhi, like a lot of you guys already know, um, I actually when I moved back to India went to Bangalore which is where I did the rest of my schooling. If you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. These were the words said by William Arthur Ward and now I, Saloni Verma, am living my dream as the school captain of India International. I'm truly honored to be chosen as the school captain for the academic year 2009-2010. So through grades 5 through the rest of high school, I studied in Bangalore and um, that was a pretty big transition for me. Uh, you know, being that kid who came from the US, uh, I had to deal with a lot of just like personal issues, also like just peer pressure in general. But I'll talk about that in a little bit. So stuff on our plate today. Um, we have a full work day ahead of us. I have a couple doctor's appointments, not for like work related stuff, but for some personal stuff that I need to get to. We're also hoping to get our car back. I think they said that they'll have it ready today. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, it was in the last vlog, go watch that. A ton of you guys liked that whole like way of like storytelling and just showing you a, a, another side of my life uh, but essentially hoping to get that back and you know all along in this journey we'll continue the story of um, me. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? This is your receipt. Yep, thank you. And this is your key. Do you have anything else? Hey, I'm all set. So you got a job yeah. not too far from where you uh, where you graduated high school. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not too bad at all. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. All right, Swan, have, have a good a great drive. Day, Thanks. Right. Have a good drive back. Boy, they really do this a lot. I mean, just look at that. So, bye bye rental car, and they're dropping that off to another customer. They got another one, so they're pretty busy out here. So glad to have my car back. So while I'm in line for the car wash and it looks like it's going to take a while, let's talk about the next part of the story, which is what did I do throughout my high school? Okay, so for those of you that don't know, high school is technically considered 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, 9th and 10th, I did my work in Bangalore mein in the ICSC board. And the subjects that I had there were pretty much all common subjects, math, physics, chemistry, biology, and even computer science up till 10th. And um, it was interesting because us time that I really liked computer science until it got really hard with all the coding and stuff. And um, it's just this, like this weird memory that I have. We used to have this computer science room, like where all of the labs would be held. 
And it was this weird rule that you would have to take your shoes off before going into that room. It made absolutely no sense. I guess they didn't want like dirt or like dust to go on the computer. <laughs> but it was the most hilarious thing. And, and I still remember that. So let's talk about ki 9th and 10th mein mere dimag mein chal kya tha, what kind of a kid was I. I was someone who really liked to get involved in like activities. So I loved sports. I used to play basketball, tennis, football, like literally any sport that was available to me in school, I played. And apart from that, I just made sure that my grades were good. Now, I didn't give too much of like serious thinking into what career I wanted to pursue, but I really focused on the fact that what did I enjoy doing? And something that I really liked to do was interact with people. I was really proactive. Like that's the thing that you have to see here. Even though my high school was like almost five, six, ten years ago, maybe, um, I didn't have as many opportunities handed over to me as a lot of kids right now do, right? The education system has moved forward in some way or another. Now that brings me to 11th and 12th, which I completed in Bangalore itself in the ISC board. Super tough. The only subject I dropped from 10th to 11th was computer science. So I still had math, physics, uh, chemistry, biology. And I remember each textbook was like this thick. Oh my God, ISC board was a nightmare. I spent so much time studying. I dreaded every moment of studying organic chemistry. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Never going to do that again. Physics was something I really enjoyed. And I remember I was studying, like I was in biology class and this memory in my mind is just so fresh, like it happened yesterday. And there was this one not even a chapter, there was this, you know, like in every subject towards the end of the book, you have like this one chapter, which is like future prospects and applications of whatever. So in biology, there was a chapter like this. And in that chapter, there was one paragraph about biomedical engineering. Can you believe it? It hurts my heart when I think about this, that there was just one one section in that chapter. It was literally like this, this big. Biomedical engineering is the application of medical devices and using medical technology to progress healthcare. That's it. That That's all they wrote. There's absolutely nothing about it. So that shows to tell you how far this has come. Now, from there, I was pretty much interested in knowing more about this field. I started watching Grey's Anatomy at the time. And, you know, being that 16 year old, 17 year old kid, you don't really think too much. I'm like, that's so cool. I want to become a doctor. And for those of you who don't know, I have a terrible phobia of needles and blood and that pretty much killed all my dreams of becoming any sort of like <laughs> healthcare professional. Um, you would not want me to be your doctor. Trust me, like I could be a patient. But um, I, saw, I thought that the closest thing next to becoming a doctor would be a biomedical engineer because I would still have the biology part. But at the same time, it would let me, you know, uh, give hands on engineering. Physics is also a subject that I enjoyed. It was my favorite subject in high school. So fun fact, I think I've never said this on the channel. In my grade 12 board exams with them, out of all the subjects, my lowest marks were in biology. Um, so I got a 78% in biology and the others were like 80, 90%, pretty average for me. And you know, that didn't really stop me. So a lot of you guys in the comments are like, you know, I, I don't I don't feel like I have like the best score in this subject. Uh, would that be a hurdle for me in the future? It doesn't need to, as long as you can demonstrate that you have a passion and you're willing to learn more, correct your mistakes. That's all that someone is looking for to give you a chance. And that's pretty much about it. So then I took my undergrad in this field of biomedical engineering. I, I... My bob and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my baby card. Press Hang enter on the phone pin, don't stop, shit ain't gonna feed you. Please place the I've been all on my ground, so why I need you. Baby girl love my bob and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my baby see through. Okay, so that's done. If anyone's wondering, $47 premium fuel for our car. Done. Let's go home. Ugh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
ज़्यादा नहीं लगी कोई बात नहीं आइस पैक लगाएंगे जल्दी से बता दो क्यों आए थे दिखाओ गाइस यूट्यूब फैमिली को दिखाओ कि आपको क्या हो रहा है ये क्या हो रहा है ये बारिश हो रही है चलो दैट एंड ये जानने के लिए हम यहाँ पे आए थे ठंडा नहीं था गर्म था अच्छा Alright guys so this is finally here I ordered the 2021 MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip and I know it has all sorts of cool features like faster editing although you know views got in here but I'm still thinking all the efforts that I can to you know up the whole game um of the MacBook Pro it's finally here this was ordered and shipped from China on the 24th of November and today is December 3rd so it took a week to arrive and i ordered this back in october when the macbook released so this is all spec'd out it's made specifically with what i wanted it to be now let's open this it's pretty heavy <laughs> mentorship at crazymedusa.com and you know just provide a screenshot of your comment uh, so i know that it's really you and um i need to know some of your details uh, like your address so that these you know uh, gifts can be sent to you guys so congratulations to all three of you guys and i really appreciate everyone who commented and you know participated in the giveaway there's definitely going to be a lot more of that coming we're closing in on 50,000 subscribers that number just saying it out loud like wow this is like a rock concert you guys but that's really cool subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye चलो चलो हम टेढ़े क्यों जा रहे हैं